that just a plain box? Pardon? Is there a pattern in there? The pattern is in there, yeah. It's, I miss it. It's the same as that. It's the half of that. It's a split pattern. And it's going to enable, it's designed to enable us to put a core piece um, within the mould cavity. And, and that will be a great step forward in our core making experiment. This is the, the, the first half of the box, isn't it? And then you've got so to, you're going to do the same again for the top. I'm going to do the same again for the top in a minute. I'm just, uh, fortunately, it's a small piece, so. It's good, yeah. yeah. But, um, yeah let's uh, practice. This pattern might it might fall out, but I don't think it will. Okay, so there's your pattern, and um, that's the other half. Okay. <laughs> it's very neat, that it's isn't lovely, it? I love yeah, the um, that whole thing. static it's kind of thing floating in the, <laughs> in the right. So that's that's. Don't do the job no. if they're damp. So this is the first time you've, you've actually uh, used this pattern. Yeah. Since it's been made. Yeah, Bill made it the other day on the on the lathe. He's uh, he's really got the hang of the lathe for this kind of thing. And then I just repeat uh, the packing down. I didn't actually. All oh, right. Well, um, it, you would, you don't mm, probably don't have to worry too much about that because you've got no pattern in there. So obviously if any lumps went in close to the pattern, it would just totally destroy yeah, the, the that's front right. mould. You, 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 you damage it because sometimes you get bits of metal in that have come from the cast things. I mean, we try to sieve it out so that you don't, we don't have any of that kind of problem, but it can happen. I feel like a semi-expert on the sandcastle. <laughs> it's... I've never actually done it. You ought to do it. Yeah, I should, you know. I should because actually come and uh, do it. Yeah. Just do it and yeah. not worry about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not worry yeah, about it. That will do. That's my next project. I think that's the thing. The, 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 the thing with uh, mould making and casting is you, 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 you can work it out in your head and you can explain it to yourself, it can be explained to you, but until you do it, somehow it just never quite. And even halfway through a process, I found that I'm, why am I going to align with a negative or like a positive? Oh, I know. And. Um, and until you've got the casting, even then, if it all goes wrong at the last minute, you think, oh my God, I did everything right and it's all gone wrong. <laughs> right, let's see if that's successful. Okay, so <laughs> we've got the two halves of the pattern there. Now, um, I 
And this has been lacquered, hasn't it? That wood, the outside of the pattern. Yeah. Varnished. Or, That's right. They, yeah. that, they will just that slip almost, out. That was I'll do it for in reverse this time. Did you guess the location of the? So <laughs> I just is guessed. that just by eye? Just I just guessed yeah. it really because and that's um, normally quite successful. Um, I uh, I could have done it a different way. You could have done it like you did it previously. Way, yeah, I think you, but I think um, back take a bit of a. This is just general um, air outlets. Yeah, it's uh, commonly called venting yeah. to help to disperse any gases or heat that's coming through. Um, it's going all the way through, is it? To the bottom. It can go all the way through. Yeah. <laughs> 